Hello everyone, this is Zabez from the Minecraft Bells and today on our redstone tutorial we're gonna cover the basics on how to do the, the double doors working at the same time without uh, being uh, uh, one open and the other one closed. As you have seen on the last tutorial, all you have to do is invert the signal on the door that it's attached to the to the left, and it works perfectly. But sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to conceal the wiring uh, underground. So right here, I have the this model, the exact same thing but uh, exposed. So uh, now I'm about to start uh, building the, the redstone circuits. So first thing you want to do is put some redstone torches beneath the doors so that you know which, which door uh, will toggle differently. In this case, it's this one because it, it's attached to the to the left. So all what we ha we have to do is invert the signal that comes to this torch uh, and change it its uh, output. To do this without having to come across this side and this side, because the redstone wiring will interact. See. You cannot uh, separate these two like this. So, what you have to do is simply oh, clear this. Put a repeater down like such. See, as we have seen in the previous tutorial, the redstone uh, the repeater do not interact if they're side by side. So this is a good thing. Uh, allows us to compact uh, the circuits, and this is the the part. Uh, this is a simple part. Actually, this is all simple. <laughs> but well, let's go to the to the rest. So, right here, we're going to start uh, on the on this block. There's the switch and the lever, uh, the button and the lever. See, no, they don't do anything just yet, but they will. So beneath directly beneath the block that contains the switch lever or pressure plate or whatever you want to use you start doing the wiring and you can go directly to this one as you can see and it, this, this redstone wire will power this repeater and only this one if I come here around and click it See, it already works. Now to the to the other door, all you have to do is invert the signal with a redstone torch and wire it. As you as we have seen on the last tutorial, this this causes the signal to invert. And bam, done. As simple as that. See, we press it. Let's let's just take another uh, another quick pick. So the um, the wire comes right here beneath the, the the switches, comes all the way around and through this. Now there's an important part here that. As I had the the structure already built, you have not might have not noticed. I have to place this block right here and this one right here because here the redstone would interact. If you did, did not want to to put this block right here and the other one on the other side right here, you could also place repeaters 
but there's a bit of a problem. Uh, well, it could be a problem or not. Imagine this. Imagine that you want it to open faster. Because repeaters. Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah. Right. It has to be like this, I think. Yeah, see the delay? Now it's a bit strange. Let's see which one. That one first. So let's add a bit of delay here. One tick. Two ticks. Oops. Oh. That's better now, but still. Now they are perfectly synchronized. So we have two, one, two, three clicks. Four with this torch. Four, five clicks. This is a bit weird, but that's how redstone work. You just have to keep on testing. See? This is an alternative, but uh, if you want to save your repeaters or you don't want to smelt some some uh, smooth stone or something you can do it like this but do not forget to add the box to cut the, the interaction between these two wires so I think this is pretty much it for this part now we are moving to another level I could say the gates and or latches or whatever you want to, to call them so here the basic one the input output gate you have something to turn on the power a lever a button whatever you want it to to have and once you turn it on whatever you have to uh, attach to the circuit will uh, be activated. Right here we have the NOT gate which has uh, an inverter attached to it and as you can tell it's the opposite way when you turn the lever to the ON state the redstone torch uh, reverses the circuit and changes the the system okay so right here we have an AND gate which mean that which means that this torch right here is now off because these two are on to change this output what you have to do we, it's not enough to change only one of these you have to change both that's why it's end gate <laughs> logically see it takes only if you only have one on it won't do anything doesn't matter which one it is it won't activate if you have them both on system will work now to the uh, OR gate this is this means if you have two switches or levers or whatever powering this block and redstone wire directly to it and if you have um, at least one of them on the on state system will change to the on, on position like such you can have them both and then change the other one as long as one stays on so does the rest of the system here's a, a NOR gate which is the, the very same principle of this NOT gate but with two levers if you uh, turn off the power, uh, turn on the power on at least one the other one will not influence the circuits and vice versa and finally the NAND gate 
which means it's the um, it's basically the opposite of this one you need to have them the both switches uh, off oh like like spike sorry to to have the system changed like such and well for now I think uh, that's all if you have some questions doubts or uh, anything else like that you can post it on the comments or contact me uh, with a private message and I'll be happy to answer you if I know the answer and next on the next episode I'll try to cover some more uh, gates a bit more complicated and things like such okay so bye bye see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed it I did so see you next time guys